The next feature that I want to look at is the product import. Again, this is the function that can be used to update cost prices or to add items into CloudSuite distribution. It has its own menu under product import. What happens is first you define or set up a definition for a specific vendor. So in this case, I'm gonna pull up my uh, Tacoma screw as my vendor. And then under the product mapping sub tab, we can see, let me edit this to make it more visible. You can see the columns of the Excel file, right? So the product was in column one, description two and three, et cetera, and down the line. Then you also have the ability, so you set this up once, most vendors have continuity so that they're gonna get the same file format every month or every quarter or annually, whatever their release increment is. And of course you can set any price or cost multipliers that you wanna manipulate the data as it comes in, as well as new product defaults. So that could be fields that the vendor is not providing that you wanna go ahead and set up as the data is coming in. So once we run the update, then we're able to go in and say, okay, well, let me see for that vendor and maybe my last update run, here is the data that has come in. And what's nice about this is I can drill into the data to see what the settings and the fields the CloudSuite distribution has set okay, based on those parameters that you set, multipliers, et cetera. Or you also have the ability to look at the raw data you want to. Okay. So you can do your analysis or evaluations of the data before you actually say, okay, final update, which would do update the existing as well as add items if that's how we answered the parameters. What's also nice about this is you can use reporting tools. Uh, many of you may have our iReporting solution. We actually have a report that drives off of this data so once it's in this holding state, it advises you if you have quotes out there that are gonna be affected by a price increase. It shows you what you were, the, were making before, margin amount, margin percent, and even recommends a new price to keep that same margin amount or margin percent. And same with pricing records that you may have. So here, this item is getting updated. Well, here are the 20 pricing records out there with these customers. And do you need to review those and update them that maybe we should increase our pricing because our cost is going up? Again, it's a, it's a great tool to update existing items, cost, price, et cetera, as well as to add items in bulk into your system, into inventory or into the electronic catalog. 